and then make a decision now, I can assure you. But more than likely, I'll be around for a while yet. I just want to ask you about your career. You've been on the sidelines since 1975, 36 odd years. What are your favourite memories from that time? Well, I suppose winning in 1978 when we had been beaten the two previous years by Dublin. We came back to beat Dublin by 18 points in that final in 78 when they were about to get rid of me and General McKenna in Kerry. But anyway, that's the reason I suppose. That was one of the outstanding memories that I have, certainly. And there was many more, of course. Winning Leinster titles with Kildare and Leash were well up there with any that I won as well with Kerry. And will you miss it? Oh, you can be sure I'd miss it, but I'll be involved in football one way or the other. I have, there's lots of things I can do outside of managing and coaching and what have you. Take 20 quid off you on a golf course for a start. Uh, an extraordinary man. Pat, will he, be, will he remain in football? Of course he will. <laughs> They're right there in the clip. I mean, it's just the close of one chapter. Uh, Mick, it, football to Mick is a drug. Uh, he'll be managing another county team probably, almost certainly. That man has no intention of retiring. Absolutely no intention. And he's just, he's just I mean, I, I've said it before. I mean, he was the greatest manager of all time. But can I say three things about him? One. Every team he ever coached, he'll fill them with belief. His feedback to all the players always will be positive. They'll, number three, there'll never be any negativity. He'll never be worrying about the opposition. It's all about skill. It's all about playing. And despite all the advances in training and fitness over the years, Mikos' teams will always be the fittest. He's an absolute genius. But one thing, I mean, that, that I would always be disappointed with, and I know it disappoints Miko, that he's been an ambassador of you. He, even if he's never won all Ireland with Leash or Wickler or, or Kildare, what he did in raising the game, the profile of the GA. He's been a wonderful ambassador for the GA, and the only thing I know that always hurts him is that he was never, because he was always critical of the GA now and again, and rightly so, that he never got the job of being manager of the international rules. I think it is the accolade that should have been handed to him. And maybe, hopefully, in the next two or three years, he could be managing that yeah. in the next two or three years' time. Or more in total football. Obviously not. Well done, Kildare. A good win for you last night. Two other qualifiers last night. Coming up, we have Antrim versus Down. But first, it's the all-Munster clash of Waterford and Limerick. Reporting is Joe Stack.